Iris House is named after Iris de la Cruz. Her mother in the, in the working group wanted to name the organization for someone who had done a lot of work around women in HIV and who was an advocate for making sure that women, particularly women of color, had the services that they need in their own community. In New York, we focus on all five boroughs. So we have people who come as far away as Staten Island for our services, and that's because there's still such a stigma around HIV, specifically in African-American and Latino communities. Most of our clients live below poverty. Um, or live in poverty or below the federal poverty levels. Many are people who we consider to be, you know, disenfranchised or people who have not been able to traditionally access services at mainstream institutions. We really focus on how do we make sure people have the support services they need as they live with HIV. So food, nutrition, housing, harm reduction services, behavioral health. Um, how do we make sure that people are connected to medical care? So connecting them with our care coordinators that make sure that they have the medical services that they need and any referrals for support services that they need. When I first got diagnosed in 2001, the experience I had with being tested in the Department of Health was very harsh. The young lady that tested me, she said like this, she had said something to me in this manner, if you come out positive, we would have to notify the police department. And I was so shocked, but so hurt. The new testing technology uh, with the 20 minutes, that gives you enough time to possibly test another client. And then and while they're waiting for their results, you can give the person beforehand their results. Our family here is, we get together. We, if it's something to be done, we come together as one. We're definitely a team. People who are very just dedicated to the work, but passionate about making a difference in the lives of people who are at greatest risk of HIV um, and other comorbidities, but also people who are at greatest need for the services. Ingrid is intelligent, incredible, and motivated. Working with her, I just feel like I always got to do more or do better because she sets that standard. She sets that example that, you know, if she's giving 150%, so do I. She's fierce. She's knowledgeable, she's supportive. I work as many hours as I did in consulting, but when I leave here at the end of the day, I know that I did help someone solve their housing problem. I did help someone solve their food problem. You know, before when I was in corporate, I would say, no matter how long you keep me in this meeting, we will not solve world hunger. We will not solve world peace. And here I literally feel like we are, we do stand between someone and their hunger or poverty issues, and but can make a difference in their lives and make an impact. If you feel that you're afraid, we're here to open up the door and tell you there's no need to be afraid. For we are here to love you, support you, and help you get the help that you need.